Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Intricat 2018 in Peru. Go to the quick access toolbar and click the save as icon. This will bring the save draw in as dialog box. Rename this draw into 001 underscore 014 underscore DIAB and click the save. Go to the home tab layer panel and click the layer properties manager. Click the great new layer button. Name this layer dim layer and change its color to cyan, the index color number 6, magenta, the index color number 6, or you can give whatever color that you want to give your layer. Click OK to close the dialog box. Close the layer properties manager. Now go to the view control and click the top custom view and ground and first floor plan. Go to the view control again and click the ground floor plan. Go to the annotate tab and dimension panel. Select the linear dimension. The linear dimension allow you to dimension objects from point to point. So at the prompt specifying first extension line origin or select object use the endpoint object map and pick this point now zoom out and move down zoom in into this area at the prompt specify second extension line origin click here at the specifying line location or move the dimension out of the way and click here as you can see you don't even see the text also the dimension is drawn on the wrong layer now click the down arrow and place a check mark Change the current layer to dim layer. As as you can see, the dim layer is currently turned off. You need to turn turn it on. So click this icon to turn it on. Click this this to turn them on. Because this layer was not greeted before the time to the time when I greet the view. That's why when I restore the view, Otuka decided to turn them on. So change the dim layer to be the current layer and go to the whole the annotate tab dimension panel and click the linear command. Use the endpoint object snap and start the first extension line here. At the prompt specify the second extension line origin. Click here. Move the mouse cursor into this direction and click. As you can see, you cannot tell the difference between the dimension line with the actual the drawing because the dimension line church the drawing and the text is very difficult to read the dimension appears if just a straight line because the setting of the text is very small so you need to control the setting before you proceed with the dimension command so all you need to do click the dialog box to launch and next to in the dimension panel this will bring the dimension style manager now you can modify the current dimension style or create a new one so in this tutorial let's modify the current dimension click the modify button this will take you to the modify dimension style dialog box first we need to decide which unit we need to use since we use architectural unit in our drawing we're going to use the same architectural unit for the dimension Click the down arrow and select architecture. For the precision, use the 1 8 precision. For fractional format, change from horizontal to diagonal. Then let's go to the arrows and symbol stack. In this case, we don't want to use arrow, we'll use architectural stick. So click this field and move down. Select the architectural tick. When you do the second, the second option would update automatically but if you want the first and the second option to have different setting go to the second option and change it back to the setting that you want that way the second option cannot follow the, the first option because we are not going to use arrow we leave the arrow head size as it is for the moment now let's click the line tab in the line tab we can set different colors for the line despite of the color that you have already set in the, in the layer. So this 
in this case i'm going to use the by layer that way the line will take the color of the layer the line type also set to i'm going to set it to by layer and the line width to by layer extend beyond stick i'm going to set this measurement to three inches and baseline space i'm going to set this to two feet six inches now i'm going to change the extension line color to something like yellow so that you have a better understanding how the different different elements in the dimension works extend beyond dimension line let's change this measurement to three inches also and we we'll set the offset from origin to two feet the offset from origin to two feet then we we'll set the fixed length to three feet let's go to the text tab let's change the text height to nine inches and the fractional height to 0.5 the text placement let's change it from horizontal to align with dimension the text style let's use leave it to standard the text color let's change the text color to something different than the dimension let's set it to blue the fill color let's leave it to none and draw frame around text let's leave it as on check text placement vertical text let's leave it to center horizontal text center view direction let's leave it to left to right offset from dim line let's change this figure to let's change this figure to 116 click the fit tab either text or arrow fit best let's check both and text placement over dimension without leader tick over dimension without leader now let's visit again the primary unit i think everything is okay here round of prefix we don't need prefix scale factor is okay the angle let's leave it as it is alternate units we don't need alternate unit in this case so let's leave all the other dialog box as they are and click ok click close to close the dialog box as you can see the text is now readable in this tutorial you learn all the necessary technique that you need to know to set up your dimension in the next tutorial we continue to dimension our drawing if you find this tutorial useful please click the like button and share it to your friend if you have any comment or you want a specific tutorial for your personal purpose, leave a comment below. If you want to continue on this tutorial, on this series, or you want any other tutorial from this channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.